Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor David Horn of the Harvest Celebration Church Growth Strategy. I want to take a few minutes with you to share with you my, my passion towards church growth, to see church attendance get back to the level of double and tripling and quadrupling church attendance. Our target audience is people that don't know the Lord. And a harvest celebration is a tool in the two box to reach out to our community and even inspire members in our church uh, to reach out to those that seem to be unreached. You know, in the book of Genesis, Cain was at, you know, Cain was asked a question about Abel, where the whereabouts was Abel. And Cain kind of just kind of gave a word that uh, really was not a good word. He said, am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am my brother's keeper. Harvest Celebration is that tool that will reach out to the backslider, to the sinner, to the unchurched, to those that have given up on church and to reach out to them. The scripture says, he says, my arms are not short. Other words, God is saying that, you know, he loved us with an everlasting love and that, and that through his love and mercy and his grace that he would enable us to hear this particular message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He said, my arms are not short that it cannot save. Neither my ear is heavy that it cannot hear. And so what we do across the country to churches that open their doors to us, we give them a proven strategy that will reach the loss. Do you know that 82% of most people will come if they're invited? And so that's what we do. And that's important to us. The scripture says in St. John, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And we do that because God loved us, and that love should be in us that can reach the lost. And so I would say that this is your season, as the Ecclesiastes writer wrote in chapter 3, talking about to everything, you know, there is a season. And I come to just encourage you, my brothers and sisters, to let you know that no matter what COVID-19 has done, that God has already laid down in his biblical principles, amen, that God will give us a harvest if we lay those principles down. He said, though the tree is cut from the root, except for the sin of water, that tree will grow back. And so what I want to encourage you to do, amen, is to work. I want to encourage you to do is to get those members acclimated towards inviting people to church. And when you do that, you'll see your church attendance grow. I'd like you to also visit our website. Our website is harvestcelebration.us. Again, harvestcelebration.us. And you can find some of the testimonies and information that what we do across, amen, America, amen, in reference of getting us back in track in reference of our mission. He said, to with God was in Christ, reconciled the world unto himself. And God has given us that word of reconciliation. It is so important. Again, this message is to church leaders, pastors, even members of the church that have seen your numbers have dwindled and you want to know how can we get our numbers back up and how can we impact our community. Well, in the book of Mark, chapter number 4, verse 26, he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a man casting forth seed in the ground. First the blade, then the ear of the corn, then the full corn. And then he talks about the harvest has come, the sickle comes. And that process, amen, enables us, amen, to affect our community. What do we do? How do we start getting uh, this particular harvest? We start with the word of God. And we start, amen, with the members in our church. Our members are our labor force. It doesn't matter if we have 10, 20, or 100. We get, them, we get them to the point of going out and inviting people to church, inviting friends, relatives, and neighbors to our church to let them know that God loves them and you love them too. And if we continue to invite these individuals out within a period of 60 to 90 days, Amen. Somebody's going to come to the church and somebody will hear the gospel and somebody will get saved. He says, first, the blade. 
then the ear of the corn, then the full corn, amen, in that process, amen, that we begin to not only personally one-on-one -on -one inviting, but getting on the phone and inviting individuals, picking up individuals, amen, bring them to the church, amen, loving on them and having a great time in service and knowing that we're there for them. And when we do that and we sow the word of God in them, we believe that the word of God, amen, will sprout large in them that they'll say, what must I do to be saved? This time that I want to spend to you to let you know, amen, that God is not only with the church, but God is with you. And that if you're saved, if you're born again, if you're a true believer, amen, that Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost inside of you, amen, is a witness. And if you follow the direction of the Holy Spirit, God will lead and guide you to reach people that you've never reached before. Well, I just want to encourage you that this is your season. This is your time. If you like further information concerning Harvest and what I do, you can call 909-578-4484, and I'll be glad to share the information that God has shared with me to you. Again, visit our website, harvestcelebration.us. That's harvestcelebration.us. Amen. And you can get more information on what we do. It's been an honor to spend just a few minutes with you to let you know that it's your season. And it doesn't matter what your membership is. If you believe God and so in faith and act in faith, that God will do exceedingly abundantly above all. You can imagine or think of the power of God that worketh in you. I'm glad that you have taken this time, amen, just to listen to what Harvest Celebration is all about. And remember this, that Satan is a defeated foe, and Jesus, he is Lord. I'll see you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.